Right, how are we doing folks? Welcome to a new video. This one is about smoke detectors and the radiation inside them. So, I was going to do a funny joke uh, to begin with. I was going to put a S10 gas mask on and I was going to start the video with that on. But it's in the trunk back there and I can't be bothered to get it out because it's just too much hassle. But there's a lot of digging around in my room recently, finding the old Geiger counters and stuff like that. So, I just can't be bothered folks, end of the day. So yes, Inside the some smoke alarms, you've got um, a Mercium 241, which is a radioactive material. Um, I bought a smoke alarm on eBay um, and I took it apart. And here is the part that um, has the radioactive source on it. See that circle bit in the, in the centre, that metal bit, that little button? Inside that is the radioactive material, the radioactive source. Ionize, this is an ionisation chamber. It basically, if there's any smoke in the area, it will um, react to it and then set the smoke alarm off. Is that focused? Both things playing up. Um, so yes, what I'm going to do now is, folks, I'm going to get the Geiger counter and we're going to see how much counts per minute that comes off this. And as well, I've done a video on a nuclear power station. We just turned up. We weren't meant to go there. We just turned up. Had the Geiger counter. Always take it with us. And we started just going around the power station, just checking, just to, because we're cu curious about these things, folks. We went round having a look, see if there's any radiation in the area. And um, I got the old hate, hate comments in that video saying, oh, you should look into radiation and, and find out more. This is, uh, this is crazy and all that. You know, it's like, we're not scientists, folks. We just do that, but a bit of fun it was. That's all it was, it was a bit of fun. And, and people went mad in the comment section, which they will in this as well, because it's like, oh my God, this is radioactive. You're going to get cancer. Well, as long as I don't grind it up into powder and then eat it or breathe the, radi the dust in, I'm going to be fine, folks. That is very low in radiation. You have to be with it for many years. Right, let's get the guy counter out. Right, got the guy counter, folks. This is it here. This is uh, basically the one I've got on Amazon. Yes, it's not. I don't. I don't. People have said, "Oh, it's not professional." You should get professional guy counter. Yes, we're not. We're not doing the nuclear power stations professionally. We're just doing it for a laugh. And this is, you know, this is just a guy counter you can buy on eBay, folks. People get so serious, folks. It's funny. It's just, it just makes me laugh in the comment section. Some of them. Um, so let's get this thing on. Let's type in, let's let it warm up for a bit, warm up, um, let's take, I've got other sources that we we discuss about next time folks, we discuss, I'm going to do one at a time, I don't want to go too crazy in it, right, so the source is here, it's away from the counter, you can see it's not going off, right, counts per minute, right, so yeah, counts per minute folks, I'm just looking up, counts per minute is a measure of the detection rate, of ionization events per minute. Counts are only manifested in the reading of the measuring instrument and are not an absolute measure of the strength of the source of radiation. Right, so we're at 21 counts per minute at the moment, folks. We're in background on this card here. Read that. It's quite interesting. I think it tells you the counts per minute and, and what the situation would be in that reading. So, 1 to or 0 to 50 it's normal background and when you get above that then it goes a bit a bit more crazy folks we haven't gone over over 50 we've always been in background but we're um we're basically going to see what we get off this um smoke alarm so let's hit it out got the tube in the back so we're just going to put the tube there we go let's get that on there for you that's just When it goes over a hundred, it alarm. There we go. So it's over a hundred counts per minute. We'll just let it go up, folks. So it shows the radiation's coming off this thing. And this is in most most homes, folks. You know what I mean? This is the scary thing about it. You know, I bought it. This smoke alarm, it was a brand new one. I bought it purely for playing with, you know. I don't keep the sources in my room or in the house. I leave it out in the shed, away from uh, from where we sleep, folks, if you're interested. So what are we at now? 301 counts per minute. 
Now this is fairly low uh, piece of um, material, radioactive material, compared to the other ones I got, which are all, all were bought on eBay and Amazon. And I'll show them in another video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it down here. I'm just going to let it go up. We're, we'll let that play for a minute. Right, I just want to look at the information about it again. Count. Immersium 241 is an isotope of immersium. Hmm. Basically, it has a half-life of 432.2 years, immersium. So basically, this doesn't seem to be going over over 350 so we're stuck at the moment at 260 counts per minute so yeah it's in what we would call on the back um yeah over it's over 100 so um very high closely watch the readings and find out why the readings are, are that so when it gets to a thousand it's very high leave the area asap so we see that in another video folks we get that but yeah and it has stuck, now I've come away from it, look. The counts are stuck coming down. And when it gets below the 100, it will go off. But basically the alarming on that is saying that there's radiation uh, and you know you should be aware of this. But again, if we got this, we put it near it, look, we put it near. There it is. So it just shows you folks, that is what happens with a Geiger counter. This Geiger counter is available on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. I think it cost me about £120. Very interesting, especially I like um, nuclear power stations and stuff like that. I just find them fascinating, that's what it's all about. You know, we went to Dungeness, we've done that, Geiger counter there. People got really excited in the comment section yet again. And um, we went to Sizewell, nuclear power station, and hopefully one day we get up to... Uh, Sellafield and do all that stuff as well. That was Immersium, folks. The hazards in Immersium, two for one. So look, I'm just reading it off here, folks. I'm not going crazy. Here. It's the same general hazards as of any other Immersium isotopes. It is both extremely toxic and radioactive. Although A particles could be stopped by a piece of paper, there are serious health concerns for ingestion of A emitters. Yeah, so don't eat it, folks. That's what they're saying. So they say it doesn't go through paper. Hmm. Let me have a look at this, folks. Here's a bit of paper. Classic bit of paper here. Let's have a test of that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to wrap it up. So that's inside there. That's inside the paper now. You can see it in there. Look. There. Right. It says on here. Maybe it might be... But... It does go through it, it shows you. Oh well, it must be just A, A, A particles. It must be just some sort of a, a thing for that then. Right, what else we got here? Oh yeah, that was it, that's one thing I wanted to discuss. This is what it's all about folks, discussion. This is what the chat room is all about. There was some bloke somewhere who was some... Oh yeah, this is it. Get Reading. This is, I think this is a Reading paper. Red in part Berkshire. Uh, fears raised that smoke alarms dumped in Berkshire landfills could cause cancer. Um, yeah, con uh, a concerned man was raised fears that smoke, de smoke detectors tossed in a Berkshire landfill could cause concerns. A bloke, basically, a bloke has theorised that old smoke alarms still emitting radioactive particles are being dumped in this place and urging people to dispose of them safely. Dispose of them here, folks, because I'll collect them all. Um, the fears of old detectors are simply thrown into the landfill. Well, it's fair enough, actually, because they're radioactive. 
the mercy in particles. Basically, that they're chucked, and then the, the concern is here that it's going into the water network when it rains. So basically, I'm not sure what happens when this gets wet. I don't think the I don't think the uh, radiation can seep out. I think it's just it's concentrated in that central part there, folks. You see that? Yeah, right in that centre, that small little button in the centre there. That that's where it is. I do want to take it off the circuit board, but. Let's keep it in my bag, keep it in the thing. So basically, yeah, when it rains, I don't think that would be the problem there. Uh, when it's ground down and made into dust, that's when it gets into the uh, into the old system there, folks. That's where it causes cancer. That's about all fallout and all that, when you breathe it in or, or eat it. Um, yeah. Uh, this bloke, I won't mention his name, but the old ones are radioactive. Yes, they are, folk. I don't know if these ones in this house or... I don't know, but a lot of them are hell of a lot. There's millions. And it makes me laugh on these news programmes. They keep going over the same things over and over again. You find yourself reading it over and over again. They're just they're wording it differently just to make a bigger article. I went to Wokenham, Wokenham, Borough Council, and had a conversation with someone there about it, and they were baffled. It's like, what's this guy going on about? Smoke detectors could poison water and radioact with radioactive material. I don't know. Leave it in the comment section, what do you reckon folks with these? I don't know if that can seep into the water supply, I don't know. The smoke detectors could poison the water with radioactive material. Once inside you, this is true, if you get it inside you, you're, you're knackered. The electrons are firing off inside your body and it can give you cancer. It's not good. No, it's not good. Um, that's interesting though, it's an interesting read up. Uh, basically, it's safe. You, you you send them back to uh, domestic electronic bins at a recycling centre. Urging people not to throw the smoke detectors into the rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So yes, folks, if you've got any old smoke detectors, dispose of them correctly. And here's one uh, smoke detector that I do want to get hands on. I know it's really hard to come by these now. Basically, this website I'm looking at now, folks, is the Soviet era smoke detectors with two powerful plutonium mix sources. So I'm going to put this in the description, folks. It's really... I'm looking at it, and it's like really trying to get my head around how to put this down on video. So please check the description, folks, and check that out. Basically, it is, um, it's Russian wording as well. Very was a very common smoke detector throughout the USSR, installed in universities, libraries, schools, factories, practically everywhere, folks. The problem with these detectors is that they are basically straight dangerous. Yes, yeah, basically no, nobody back in the days thought that these would never be thrown away into like the rubbish or sold to people as junk, but they are, and it's, it's contaminated and everything. Yeah, this is crazy. You know, and it, it makes you wonder about all the ca cancer cases and stuff like that. There's stuff like this that's in the, um, in the atmosphere and uh, on the streets, basically, isn't it? So yeah, check that out, folks. It's very interesting. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's a bit crazy. Got more of these radiation ones. I'm, I'm looking into it. I'm looking into it. You know, it's uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, folks. Am I going to die and all that stuff? Um, so yes, thanks very much for checking out the IKS chat room, folks. And um, what's that? Ghosts. Check out Instagram, Facebook, and all that jazz. The main channel as well, folks. That's what it's all about. Okay. Thanks very much, and uh, see you soon.